Now, from the suffragettes to Simone de Beauvoir, from burning the bra to the beauty myth, the history of feminism is long, strong and proud. A bit like a Rhodesio shit. Don't ask. Without feminism, there would be no vote for women. <coughs> no right to equal pay. <coughs> no women enjoying a glass of wine in public. <coughs> <laughs> what? Did feminism invent the restaurant? In fact, married women, you would still legally be the property of your husband. Instead of just him being yours. But in today's world, feminism, it seems, can almost be regarded as a dirty word. Dirty word. Dirty, dirty word. Lacey Green wants to change all of that. Ooh, your sacrificial offering is accepted. <laughs> are true what they've been saying about me what the joan rivers cuts short tv interview i have to come clean i lacey green am a feminist fucking hell 31 degrees is that a normal day in darwin what you're a lesbian now man hater hairy armpits it ain't so Shh, it's gonna be okay those are just stereotypes and I would like to know a great deal more about the Dockers and the Demons, please. I think that feminism is both kick-ass and super important, and here are a few of my reasons why. And I think I'm about to learn a great deal more about the Dockers and the Demons. I'm a feminist because my father never once did the laundry, made dinner, or cleaned the house. <laughs> I'm a feminist because I want to see men suffer. When they go off to work 16 hours a day in a citadel of dark satanic mills, it's not good enough because I can't see their tears. When I suggested he help, my grandpa told me I was out of my damn mind. <laughs> he was putting it rather lightly then, wasn't he, you rancid little sadist? I'm a feminist because I believe that the world should be safe for girls everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Chuck another woman down the volcano. Did she die? Right, we still need feminism. Because half the girls in Yemen will become child brides. Then you should probably learn the Yemeni word for feminism. Or possibly the Yemeni word for humanism. Knock yourself out. Because 65% of Brazilians believe that a woman who dresses in revealing clothes deserves to be raped. And how many of those people surveyed were feminists? And did you ask them about any other rape fantasies they have? Because in Saudi Arabia, women still can't vote or drive. See, that's why I'm not a Muslim. But you see, it wouldn't do for me to say that's why I'm a Christian, because that wouldn't solve the problem at all. In fact, it'd be like saying I'm a Christian because I have no religion. It'd be a bit like saying... I'm a feminist because I believe in gender equality. Wah, 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 wah. And my eyes are open. My eyes are open is not the sound of someone with open eyes. The sound of someone with open eyes is fuck, I can't close my eyes anymore. My mind is active. So is a hamster on a wheel. It's just not fucking getting anywhere. I know we're not there yet. Then get off the fucking hamster wheel, you tumultuous virago. <laughs> that was just for Karen. That's an idea for a Patreon reward, actually. Pledge five dollars and I'll throw in any word of your choosing. Yeah. Karen gets a couple of freebies because she's awesome. I can drink wine too, huh? 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 Come here to me. You know, it, it astounds and, and disappoints me when I hear uh, women and girls saying, oh, I'm, I'm not a feminist. Mm. You know, like it's a dirty word. What? Okay. I am not a spatula. That does not mean I think spatula is a dirty word. You weird ass fucking cult leader. <laughs> All right, that was for just a car. <laughs> Starting to see where it's coming from now. Why has it come mm -hmm. to have such negative associations? Yeah, it definitely breaks my heart too. I think that it's a complicated issue, but in general, I think the right wing has led a very successful attack on feminism throughout the past couple of decades. And 
thank you for tacitly admitting that the left wing hasn't <laughs> and has in fact led a very successful psychotically echo chambered pedestalization campaign of women for the past century at least and the right wing has in fact gone along with it every step of the way because they need votes too the only attacks made on feminism have come from us the bleeding hearts and the artists and those attacks in the grand scheme of things have not <laughs> been in the least bit successful you lying fucking liar Part of that attack has been really sensationalizing the 0.01% of feminists who are very extreme, I guess you could say. Do you know, by the most bizarre coincidence, every feminist I've ever spoken to falls within that 0.01%, even though none of them think they do. Humorous. Hmm? Mm. The feminine, feminism movement has done the most extraordinary things. Many of them, Andrew talked about in our introduction. You know, we, we have a lot to thank the feminism movement for. Nope. Lies. That's what eh means. Do you feel as if mm -hmm. that movement has lost its momentum uh, along the way? Yeah, I think that those attacks have been really successful in kind of stifling our togetherness as a movement. Well, I'm... Positively flattered, Lacey, but I think you'll probably find your togetherness as a movement was somewhat stifled from the offset, but that didn't stop it moving. On the contrary, that may have been what moved it. But it doesn't mean we're not still going, we're still pushing on, and we're still fighting a lot of really important issues that affect women in the 21st century. In Yemen. Indeed. Uh, it, it does seem that for, you know, the, the average person who is, is not within um, the academy as such. The academy as such. That means the cult, doesn't it? <laughs> that means... What is she selling, dude? All people are all equal now, but all pigs are more equal now. Um... There's an acceptance of the philosophy of feminism, i.e. that all beings, men and women, are created equal and deserve the same opportunities um, in life. Men and women are not created equal. They are created different. It's called biology. It would help everyone out a lot if you could try to understand this. Um, and, but, but, but by accepting that, we assume that that is happening in practice, whereas we know it's not. Might have to get a teeny bit AIDS piggy here, but you said the words in practice there, and I don't think they mean what you think they mean. Yeah, that's absolutely true. I think that the ways that sexism manifests has slowly started to change. It was really covert and in our faces several decades ago, and now it operates in a little bit more of a subtle way, and I think people think that's normal, and it's harder for them to see and realize that we still need this movement. You just said nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> you just told us the boogeyman is invisible now. That's all you ridiculous fucking child. Lacey, where did your passion come from for feminism? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> a lot of places. Basically, just a lot of really terrible experiences that I've had. You're still saying nothing. You're trying your damnedest to make that nothing sound like a rapist, but it's still nothing. That have really motivated me to be like, this is not okay, and this is not the world that I want my children to be in. It's not the world that I deserve to be in. I really just want things to change. Because I just, I just wanted, because in, um, in your vlog post there, you were saying, you know, one of the reasons that you're a feminist is because you never witnessed your father doing a, a load of laundry. Yeah, I, it must have been so fucking traumatic. <laughs> The horror of seeing a father trying to relax. I think for my family, there's a real fear of standing up to the men because it's seen as out of line or out of the order, you know? Really? Let me tell you how it works outside Mormon families in a world where violence does in fact exist. Over here in reality, it's seen as out of line for men to stand up to women. Not just out of line, misogynistic. Not just misogynistic. Domestic abuse. It's even seen as out of line to stand up to feminism. Not just out of line. 
dirty. Hmm? Mm. You know, w w when we accept the notion of um, social, political, economic equality, we, as I say, we tend to assume that that's happening in practice. So, social, political, economic equality not happening in practice. You know what is happening in practice? The law. The reason this social, political, economic equality of yours isn't quite manifesting is because it's a fucking phantasm. That's why you need to describe it as this incoherent nebula existing between three very loaded buzzwords. Law is not an incoherent nebula, that's why it can be signified in three letters. And the law, in case you keep randomly forgetting to notice, is on women's side on every single fucking issue. But do carry on talking about the smoke monster. Here in Australia, you know, more than 70% of our parliamentarians are men. When you beat a dog, you only make him stronger. More than 98% of the CEOs of our top companies are men. When you break a dog, you only make him unbreakable. Women are still six times more likely to be the victims of homicide by their partner than men. <laughs> That's because women are six times more likely to get someone else to do the dirty work for them. And then get away with it. The gender pay gap mm -hmm. is still over 15%. These are some of the issues that I think still need to be addressed. What do you think are, you know, the major issues for feminists, indeed all of us, to grapple with? Yeah. I think those are all really huge and important ones. Um, other ones that affect young women particularly are some of the ones that I work on. Um, you know, the double standards that young women face when it comes to their sexuality. <laughs> Does anyone have any idea where women might be getting sexual double standards? Anyone? <laughs> Tell me, Lacey, every time you get your tits out, is that you helplessly falling victim to the patriarchy? Or is that you empowering yourself? Being called a slut. <laughs> being called a slut while simultaneously needing to call other women sluts whenever we don't like them. Being told blatantly false information about their bodies. And <coughs> Those of you who know who Lacey Green is will understand exactly why nothing was necessary there but a spit take. I think is a big issue because it only applies to women in general. <laughs> oh, Lacey! After you've said it only applies to women, you can't try and brush it under the rug by saying in general. If it only applies to women, then it is not in general at all. It is mutually exclusively in specifics. Very debatable specifics. There is a wee bit of misinformation out there about male bodies. I have lost count now of how many Otherwise, humane, intelligent people have said to me that a boy will not lose any sensation if you remove his skin. Therefore, it's fine to mutilate babies. Oh, and it probably cures AIDS or something. Good enough for me. Keep on clamping them newborns in a hole punch. Cunt, Lacey. Fucking cunt. Sexual assault is a big one. <laughs> sexual assault does not only apply to women. Sexual assault happens to men too. That is what the legal system calls it when a woman rapes someone. <laughs> Maybe there will come a wave of feminism whereupon a woman can rape someone and the law will simply call it loitering. But it is not this day. You can and will go down for it, Lacey. I will see to it. Street harassment, sexual objectification of women being treated like a sex object, like I'm here to look pretty and, you know, mm. here for men to have sex with me, that kind of thing. You mean you're on an attention-seeking crusade against your own attention-seeking preoccupations? Well, that's admirable on paper, Lacey. But in the meantime, could you stop filling children's heads with bullshit, please? Um, because I think that's the kind of stuff that young women confront first before mm. they get to, oh, now I'm realizing my male co-workers are making more to than me now that I graduated college. Your co-workers, Lacey. Don't necessarily have the same jobs as you. A lot of them have harder duties and work longer hours. And I'd wager most of them are men. 
You see, women juggle careers and families because they want to. Men juggle careers and families because they are governmentally forced to, whether they wanted the child or not, whether they wanted the job or not. That might be what puts the extra kick in their step, yes? So the awakening is happening younger, I hope, I think. <laughs> Conversations like this are obviously an important start to to change some of those misconceptions and, and uh, about feminism being a dirty word. I mean, you're using that charge as both a euphemism and a cacophonism. Really. It's not a dirty word, my darling. It's a hate group. I'm just wondering about the responsibility of high profile women now that we are in a celebrity age. <coughs> We've been in a celebrity age since fucking Abraham. We've been in a celebrity age since Stone Age men started whittling figurines of headless fat women. What are you talking about? Do we need more high profile women to say I'm a feminist and that's okay? Because it's not important that we address our legal system. In fact, let's not talk about our legal system at all. It's obviously working just fine. What's important is that we defend the word feminism from all this dirty, dirty humanism. Oh, absolutely. It breaks my heart every time one of these women is like, I love men, so I'm not a feminist. I'm like, feminists don't hate men, we love men. What are you, what, what is all this craziness? <laughs> so Lacey, have you ever got through that with a straight face? I really hope that by reframing this movement that people, celebrities particularly, but everyone feels more comfortable to be like, yeah, I'm a feminist. And to know that you're on the right side of history with that. To know, to know you're on the right side of history. Don't look it up, don't compare it, don't discuss it, just believe. <laughs> For I am a moron. <laughs> and a moron just believes. Indeed. Yeah. Hey, Lacey, listen, thanks so much for joining us this morning and filling us in a little bit. Um, you, you know, particularly to all the girls watching out here, I highly recommend getting online and checking out Lacey's yeah, great vlog. Stuff. Try it, yeah. I mean, it's a bit like butt funneling five gallons of energy drink. But try everything once. Fantastic way just to, to start so thinking much. about what it means to be a feminist. Cheers, Lacey. Great to talk to you. Cheers. Thanks so much. <laughs> Goodbye, Lacey. I'd say fuck right, but... It's probably not enough information. That, that issue of the, you know, the body and, and ownership of the body and, you know, what the female body is for is, you know, such a, a big one. And I loved in the, in the vlog the way she points out the boobs are used to sell everything. Yes. And everything is used to sell boobs. <laughs> Sounds rather like we should all calm the fuck down about women, doesn't it? That's why I'm not a feminist. But... God help you if you try to actually use one to feed your child mm -hmm. in public. <laughs> That's where it gets offensive. <laughs> Far out. Is it men who find it offensive? Or is it prudish women who find it offensive? Because they read in some feminist literature somewhere that every time a woman exposes herself, she is allowing herself to be raped by the gazing eyes of the all-seeing patriarchy. Because no matter where you are on the sex-positive, sex-negative spectrum, you can always find your unaccountable instincts being hoarsely rationalised somewhere by the tap-dancing white feather quill pen of some bawdy, cadaverous termagant. And I might point out that you can't use dicks to sell anything. In fact, you'll probably get sued out of existence for putting so much as a cartoon dick anywhere on your product. And when you take your dick out in public, so that the desperate geezer of piss can hit a tree instead of a public roadway via your legs, you don't get prudish women saying, oh, I wish you'd do that at home. You get prudish women saying, throw that man in jail, he's dangerous. Well, that's the end of the video. <laughs> well, that was a useless trail of dick snot, wasn't it? Um. Although, has anyone got any ideas for Patreon rewards? I still haven't assigned any because I've got no idea what it is I do that you people find rewarding. Have a think about it, though. I'll uh, play you out with some Fraggle Rock.